I woke up a morning this week and um, I got a message from my friend, uh, John. Shout out to John. He's been one of my biggest supporters here. Um, he, sent me, he sent me a message. It was this picture of a letter that I sent to his cousin. Because at that time, about six or so years ago, I used to talk to his cousin. And bro, I was a simp that's there's there's no other way to say it. i was a hardcore simp well let me say sometimes because i'll we'll we'll get into the video we'll get in the video but before we start um i wanted to shout out two of my biggest supporters on this channel for the last two months or so first one is gonna be vincent and then the second one's gonna be josh i'm gonna have their links and stuff around here vincent is an amazing designer he has designed my new logo i don't sh i'm i'm waiting on like the channel art to put it up on youtube but it's gonna be on my discord and i pretty much change it on my whatsapp so vincent is an amazing designer go ahead check him out and follow his stuff as well josh on the other hand josh is given me a lot of verbal and and other support and i cannot thank him enough i'm so appreciative of anything i didn't even ask for any of it really but he has given it to me so i'm gonna have a link to his stuff as well and all their links is gonna be in the description down below so go ahead and follow them and show them some support as well um also um i need you guys to remember that i'm doing a q a for my birthday which will be in like two weeks um at the time of recording it's just a little bit over two weeks um that's when the video will release um i need you guys to send me some questions so down the comment section and you can also message me message me on my socials all my links are going to be in the description down below and uh yeah let's get into the video y'all to really understand the definition of a sim i had to go onto the internet and um basically research what it really is and what it really means and and i had to watch a couple videos to see what it is because i've used the word um like unconsciously to describe some people and i might have been wrong about it so i went on to this website and they said a simp is an internet slang language slang term used for someone mostly a male who has been using excessive sympathy and attention towards another person, usually a female, in order to win their affection, sometimes in pursuit of sexual relationships. Okay, well, with that being said, I really sat there and I thought about it as I woke up. I woke up a morning and my friend sent me this this little this little letter that I sent to one of his cousins or one of his family members. Um, because me and her used to talk about six years ago or so and i i realized i was a pretty much a hardcore sim because i sat there and i and i said stuff about me like i literally wrote it in a letter in in the 21st century i wrote it in a letter and i gave her my schedule i gave her everything like no <laughs> if i was to do that now i would expect one of my friends to slap me so hard bro because there's no way i'm gonna sit here and do that again like when I get to use, when I get to you, that's just the that's the way it is. And um, if you see me putting a huge amount of effort into speaking to you, that means you have to be very important. And that also means that you have to be putting that effort back into me because I'm not going to sit here and put all of this effort into somebody who is not going to show me it back because that's a waste of time that's a waste of money that's a waste of energy and we don't want to waste energies in 2021 y'all like no don't waste no energy in 2021 and i think there's a there's a there's a there's good simping and there's bad simping bad simping is when you are putting all this time effort money etc into somebody and they are not showing you it back they're not giving the light of day for men this is usually when they they want to pursue this girl sexually and she she doesn't she only wants to go out with you when she wants something to eat how is that very fair how is that something good you feel me like you were paying for this lady's food all the time all the time and she's not even giving you she's not texting you back sometimes she's not giving you sex she's not doing this she's not doing that then what is she there for 
bro like seriously and this is the same thing for 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 women and guys like if you are doing all this for this man and he's not he's not giving you the light of day then what are you doing it for it makes absolutely no sense there's so many other people out there that could give you so much more than that one person is giving you just because they may be pretty they may be maybe the most popular guy or girl out there doesn't mean that you have to sit here and show these these behaviors to this person you feel me and that's what that's what i used to be i i had like this identity crisis back when i was 15 or so because i had three different like sort of like personalities i had this one where i was simping all the time i was doing all this stuff for these ladies and i think it's because i knew what i wanted and these ladies presented me what i wanted and you know that 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 brought the confidence that that brought my confidence level low because i felt like they were out of my league but right where was i again i forgot where it was right right so i felt like some of these women were out of my league and you know that that brought my confidence all the way down another another personality i had was where i was very very confident i i knew what i was doing i knew what i want i went after the stuff that i want that was pretty much my cadet personality i wanted to be a sergeant major so i went and i get it and i understood that and there were some girls that really liked that about me because i you know was very confident and they often never really got through because i wasn't really interested at that time only maybe some some of them got through and those that that's the example of of bad simping the simping that you don't want to be and over time as i start to got to get what as i start to get more confident about um myself and who i am and who i want to be i started to you know understood and realized who was there for me and who was just there to use me there there are some people around right now who think that i am gonna sit there and take all of their crap because there was a there was a girl recently who you know i messaged her and i said something and she didn't reply to me for like two days bro and i felt like she and she's and i asked her about it and she said she said, I can't force anybody to, I, after I asked her a couple of questions, she said, I can't force anybody to reply to me. I was like, huh? It confused me. It completely confused me, but it is what it is. It's whatever. I don't care. And from then on, I realized that she, she in it, bro, because if I'm putting so much effort into this and, and, and texting her and stuff and she can say something like that to me like that was that was completely blasphemous and completely stupid and i don't i don't believe in it and it is what it is so whatever so that that yeah that happened recently and it's whatever i'll talk to somebody else it, yeah there are more girls around there and the thing is she's she's really really attractive she has so much potential but this mentality in it bro and there's nothing i can do about it I can't, as she said, I can't force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. So I give, I've already given my opinion and my two cents and she doesn't want to listen to me. So it's whatever. And right. What I was saying was that we, we are living in a world where somebody is always using you or somebody's is, is, is there to use you. But the, the thing you want to do is have like a mutual friendship or mutual reaction or reaction. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't know what I want to say. Um, but if you have like a mutual understanding, mutual respect, for example, um, my, my friend, my best friend, Daniel, we have the mutual respect or mutual understanding of being we, there. There are a lot of stuff that we are alike with. We are alike with our dark humor. We are like with our, sometimes we make the jokes that we, we're probably going to go to hell because of the things we say and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's us. But there's some things that he has that I don't have. And there's some things that I have that he doesn't have. I have the strategic mind sense, etc., etc. I have the ability to plan. I have the ability to go out there and, and decide what I'm going to get, when I'm going to get it. And that plan follows through. He has the, he has more confidence than I do. I, in my opinion, he does. And that's something that I've been kind of like feeding off from him sort of kind of 
because I've been I've been getting more and more confident on my own and that's mainly because I've been around him I've seen him and, and doing going around and enjoying life you know and that's where my confidence is as that's a contributor to my confidence growing etc and for him I often give advice I often give my two cents and my and I'm somebody who thinks very critically of something and thinks very critical of a situation and we have that sort of mutual respect and that's 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 an example of a really good relationship because you both have something to offer the relationship it isn't just one person offering i've seen a lot of times where a guy is the only one who is offering something in a relationship or a girl is the only one who's offering something in a relationship the girl is giving all the feelings and the guy just wants sex and that's not a good that's not a very good transaction it seems like everything nowadays is just a transaction you know but it you got to understand which is a what is a good transaction and what is a bad transaction i've seen relationships where the girl gets the guy out of a lot of trouble but the guy he 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 promotes the girl and he makes the girl feel like she's she's on top of the world and that's that's something that might be a very good relationship because he stays out of trouble he gets he get his stuff done right and she also does stuff for herself because she has somebody on her team behind her back pushing her keeping her afloat and going forward and that's something that's a really good relationship that's something that i want in my my personal relationships i want and not only in my friendships but in my my um my my sexual and romantic relationships and stuff and that's something that i haven't found recently i haven't found at all nobody is matching my energy so far and it is what it is i mean it happens and i got i got years and years and years to figure this out so i'm not even gonna worry about it right now i'm focused on building my empire and this is where i in the video where i talk about how i went from being that person of a simp to to being a king i first understood who i am what i wanted what my standards are once i got those defined and once i got those 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 ideas and those thoughts together that is where i decide i started things started to change around for me i wasn't simping anymore when somebody wouldn't reply to me i wasn't tripping out i wasn't freaking out i wasn't being very upset about it that was that's the first step understanding what you want and who you want and and the stuff that's going on and then understanding that it is okay to be rejected everybody rejects somebody i'm sure that each and every one of you have rejected somebody at, at at some point in time personally i do not like girls who are thick i mean well let me say thick. i'll i'm just gonna say fat whatever you might say that i'm fat shaming but i'm not really there's still fat people out there are, are yeah big people out there that are that are um very attractive etc but personally i don't find it attractive the same way there's some people who don't find black guys attractive there's some people out there who don't find white women attractive there's some people out there who don't find other people attractive because of these traits that is okay that is their their perspective that is their likes their dislikes stop shaming people because they don't like that sort of thing you understand like and just because they don't like that sort of thing that has nothing to do with you that's not your business just because I don't like girls who are big doesn't mean that I don't like girls in general or because I'm, I'm shaming fat people. I have people who are close to me and friends who are big, who are fat, who are whatever. It It's okay, y'all. Like, like I, I can already hear y'all or see the comments typing, Oh, you, 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 you a fat shamer, you this, you that. No, bro. Stop with that energy, honestly. It is what you like people need to understand you need you like certain things and there are things that you're gonna find attractive that other people are gonna take offense to that's fine that's fine you take you take offense to this and that's fine um but just listen to the message understand and respect other people's likes and dislikes and everything will be fine you know um i forgot what i was talking about again so right we need to understand or we need to to, to find our way of handling rejection because it's something that's gonna happen there and and for guys who talk to a whole bunch of girls in a week 
it's gonna happen you are gonna get rejected and i need you guys to understand and this when i say guys i mean guys and girls you are you gotta understand that it's okay to reject it it's okay it, that just means that person is not the person for you you gotta do more looking that's all it is like there are things about other people that we don't that you don't like personally i don't like i don't like girls who smoke i don't like girls who are big I don't like girls who have no ambition and who doesn't want to go anywhere but there are gonna be some guys out there and maybe some girls too who like that sort of thing who finds that sexy who finds that that thing and and we need to understand that that's okay that's fine that's amazing you know what I'm saying? like it there's no big thing about it there's no need for all the drama all the all the nonsense you know then once i understood that you know what i wanted and who i wanted to be and what i wanted to do and then I decided, I, I, I found out how to handle rejection, how to handle stuff. I My energy and my whole perspective of life had, had changed and I become a lot more peaceful and not as, as toxic and, and, and rage filled and angry and stuff. And that started to help me a lot. The other day, somebody told me, bro, Chad, you have changed from, from last year. You're, you're, your last year you were so much different than today and i'm pretty sure that you guys can see the difference too between who i was last year and who i am today there's a complete difference from the person i will not really say a complete difference but a complete difference in confidence and personality and who i am because i am i know who i am i know what i want and i've been able to sit there and do my do the time that i need to do I kind of rambled in this video so i hope it's understandable if you guys want me to do it over i'll probably do it over i'll have some notes or something to keep me on track but i went side tangent i went this place and that place and all over um throughout this video but if you like this video drop a like comment subscribe if you agree with me if you disagree with me that's okay we can talk about it down in the description as well as my discord remember i'm doing a q a for my birthday so you guys can drop your comments so down down there somewhere you can drop a comment um uh asking me a question that you want to see on my q a and i will start working on it i want to start working on the q a from the 7th of february so that's the cutoff date for all questions i'm gonna start recording then and editing and uh it will be up on my birthday my birthday is the 12th of february so go ahead do those um I'll see you guys later. Don't be simps. Understand what you want. Understand who you are. And make sure you guys understand that it's okay to be rejected. It's okay to not be it for somebody. That's fine. You know, there's plenty other people in the earth. We have 7 billion people on this earth. One of them is for you, bro. Or sis. Or ma'am. Or sir. You understand that? So, I want you guys to go out there in love understand each other talk about things whatever you have to do see you guys next time peace